Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Dr. Emily Brooks and today we're going to explore a topic that often stirs up curiosity, anxiety and unfortunately a lot of myths. What is the normal penis size? And even more importantly, how can you measure both length and girth correctly? With the rise in male genital cosmetic procedures, this question has become increasingly common in doctor's offices, online forums and social media. But before we dive deeper, I want to reassure you with something that might surprise you. About 95% of men who worry about their penis size actually fall within the medically normal range. That's right. In most cases, this isn't a physical problem, but rather a distorted body image. Many men feel inadequate because they compare themselves to unrealistic standards, especially those portrayed in adult films or online, where bodies are often exaggerated or digitally enhanced. Interestingly, this concern is much more common among men than women. Around 55% of men report feeling anxious or unhappy about their size, while only 5-10% to of women say penis size is a very important factor in choosing a partner. So, take a deep breath. My goal today is to educate, inform, and most importantly, ease your mind. In this video, I'll share real scientific data, show you how to measure length and girth properly, discuss enhancement procedures and their risks, and even share a fascinating historical perspective that might change how you think about this topic altogether. How to measure penis size correctly. First, let's talk about how penis size is measured, because understanding this is key to knowing what's normal. There are two main measurements, length and girth, which is the circumference or thickness of the shaft. Measuring length, penis length can be measured either when erect or when flaccid and stretched. Both methods are used in scientific studies, but the most reliable and consistent method is the flaccid stretched length, which closely matches erect length. Here's how to do it properly. Use a ruler or measuring tape. Place it at the pubic bone, where the penis meets the body. You might need to gently press into the fat pad to reach the bone. Stretch the penis firmly, but not forcefully while flaccid. Then measure to the tip of the glands, the head. The same method applies when measuring erect length. Start at the pubic bone and measure straight to the tip, keeping the ruler aligned on top of the shaft. Avoid measuring from the skin or underneath, as this adds extra length and leads to inaccurate results. Measuring girth. Girth is just as important as length and varies widely between individuals. To measure girth, take a soft measuring tape or a piece of string. Wrap it around the mid-shaft of the penis, not too close to the base or tip. Note the measurement where the tape or string meets. You can measure girth both flaccid and erect, but most studies use erect girth as the standard. Many men either overestimate or underestimate their size because of poor measuring techniques or by comparing their flaccid size to others' erect size, which creates unrealistic expectations. What does science say about average penis size? Now that we know how to measure correctly, let's look at what scientific research tells us. A large meta-analysis combining data from nearly 15,000 men worldwide provides reliable averages. Average length. About 90 to 95% of men fall within these ranges. Length between 10 and 16 cm. Approximately 4 to 6.3 inches when erect or flaccid stretched. The global average erect length is around 13.2 cm, just over 5 inches. At the extreme ends, a micropenis is medically defined as an erect or stretched length under 7.5 cm, about 3 inches. A macropenis, which is very rare, is generally considered above 24 cm, 9.5 inches. These are statistical outliers and represent only a tiny fraction of men. Average girth. Flaccid stretched girth ranges from 8 to 10.5 cm, 3.1 to 4.1 inches, with an average of about 9.5 cm, 3.7 inches. Erect girth ranges from 10 to 13 cm, 3.9 to 5.1 inches, averaging around 11.5 cm, 4.5 inches. Remember, many men compare themselves to unrealistic standards, especially those seen in adult films, where actors are chosen for unusually large size and camera tricks exaggerate appearances. A few extra facts. You might find interesting penis size does not correlate with foot size, height or race. It's a myth that bigger feet mean a bigger penis. Sensitivity and sexual satisfaction depend more on communication, emotional connection and technique than on size. 
The penis is made of spongy tissue that fills with blood during arousal, so overall health and cardiovascular fitness can affect erectile quality. Cosmetic procedures, what you should know. Many men wonder about enhancement options, but it's crucial to separate facts from marketing hype and understand the risks. Girth enhancement. The most common method is injecting hyaluronic acid, a natural substance also used in facial fillers. It can increase girth by two to three symmetries temporarily, lasting 12 to 18 months. It's considered relatively safe and absorbable. However, beware of clinics offering non-absorbable fillers like PMMA or industrial silicone, which can cause severe complications such as inflammation, lumps, and permanent damage. Lengthening procedures. Options are limited and riskier. Liposuction around the pubic area removes fat to reveal more of the shaft, but doesn't increase actual length. Suspensory ligament release surgery can add 2 to 2.5 centimeter of visible flaccid length, but doesn't increase erect length and may cause instability or scarring. No permanent medically approved lengthening methods exist, according to Brazil's Federal Council of Medicine and most international bodies. Penile implants. These are designed to treat erectile dysfunction and are not for cosmetic enlargement. A historical perspective that might surprise you. In ancient Greek culture, the ideal male body was depicted with a smaller penis, symbolizing wisdom, self-control, and rationality. Large penises were often associated with barbarism or comic exaggeration. Sculptures of gods and philosophers show modest anatomy, while exaggerated genitals appeared mainly in caricatures or fertility gods like Priapus. This shows how cultural ideals about masculinity and size evolve over time. What's considered attractive or important in one era may be different in another. Final thoughts. If you've ever felt insecure or pressured by what you see online, in media or locker room talk, you're definitely not alone. But remember, penis size does not define your worth, your ability to satisfy a partner or your masculinity. Confidence, respect and health, both physical and emotional, are what truly matter. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe and turn on notifications for more science-based, judgment-free content like this. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Dr. Emily Brooks, and I'll see you next time.